Today, we're talking about probiotics for kidney disease. What are probiotics? How can probiotics help you if you have chronic kidney disease? And what is the best kidney-specific probiotic for you to take? I'm going to answer all of these questions for you today. Make sure to listen to the end of the video to learn about which probiotic supplement I recommend for many people with chronic kidney disease and get a special discount code. So probiotics are tiny living organisms that live in your gut and they basically help to keep your gut or your GI tract running smoothly. They help to digest food, they help fight off bad bacteria, and then they help maintain that gut lining so that harmful substances don't leak into the bloodstream. They also support your immune function and they can help reduce inflammation. Now, in order to understand how probiotics can affect your kidney health, it's crucial to understand the connection between the gut and the kidneys. So the microorganisms in the gut affect us, we're the host, via different pathways. And when there's an imbalance of that good versus the bad bacteria, there can be negative side effects. And this is called dysbiosis. So if you ever hear gut dysbiosis, it's that imbalance of good and bad bacteria. And there are many chronic diseases that are linked with gut dysbiosis and kidney disease is just one of them. So gut dysbiosis and kidney disease is somewhat of a double-edged sword. So something called uremia, which is very prevalent in people with chronic kidney disease, especially as kidney function declines, affects the composition and metabolism of the gut bacteria bacteria, which in turn increases uremic toxins and endotoxin production. And then on the other hand, uremic toxins and endotoxins are produced by gut bacteria, which can then lead to uremia. So the presence of these toxins increases inflammation. It contributes to progression of kidney disease and cardiovascular disease. And regardless of what came first, you know, it's that chicken or the egg, um, did the uremia come first? Did the uremic toxins come first and cause the uremia? We know that people with chronic kidney disease are impacted by gut dysbiosis or an imbalance of that good versus bad bacteria. And fiber and prebiotic fibers, which are the primary fuel source for probiotics in the gut, um, are extremely important for preventing and treating this gut dysbiosis. And you hear me talk all the time about eating more fruits and vegetables and fiber and whole plant foods. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to talk specifically about probiotics and kidney gut dysbiosis. That's what we're going to focus on. I'm often asked, can I take probiotics or what's the best probiotic to take if I have kidney disease? So let's dive into this. So now that you know how strong the link is between gut health and kidney health, let's talk about the potential benefits of probiotics for people with kidney disease. The important thing to know is that all probiotics are not the same when it comes to helping improve that kidney um, gut access or kidney gut health. There are very few kidney specific probiotic strains that help to address gut dysbiosis and chronic kidney disease. So let's go into these potential kidney health benefits of kidney specific probiotic strains one, and this is a big one, is reducing uremic toxins. So kidney-specific probiotics may help to reduce the buildup of harmful substances like uremic toxins in the blood and can even help to break down uremic toxins in the gut. So kidneys that are functioning normally typically filter out uremic toxins from the blood. So uremic toxins, they come from our gut, they're absorbed through the gut lining into the bloodstream, and then the kidneys filter them out. So when we have kidney disease and declined kidney function, some of those uremic toxins can stay in the blood and can further damage the kidneys. Another potential benefit of kidney-specific probiotics is they may help to reduce inflammation, which is a major issue in kidney disease progression. When we think back on that gut-kidney connection that I've been talking about earlier in this video, more toxins increases inflammation, which in turn can contribute to faster kidney disease prog progression. So kidney-specific probiotics help to lower inflammation by helping to balance that good um, versus bad gut bacteria, which in turn can help to maintain, um, or in some people even improve that kidney function or GFR. I'm sure all of this sounds absolutely wonderful for you. If you have kidney disease, don't forget that you really want to discuss the use of probiotics with your healthcare provider and your team prior to initiating use. People with kidney disease have very unique needs and you just want to ensure that there are no potential interactions with medications or supplements that you're already taking. And of course, I can't stress this enough. I'm a dietitian a renal dietitian providing education on probiotics for kidney disease. Um, but you really do want to make sure that, um, especially if you're a post-transplant or if you have SIBO, like those are cases where you really would want to um, get approval and discuss that with your doctor first. So obviously many potential benefits of probiotics for kidney disease. Let's dive into the best kidney-specific probiotic. 
So, so if you haven't heard of Renadyl, Renadyl is a probiotic that was developed specifically for people with chronic kidney disease. It was developed by kidney health researchers and nephrologists to help improve kidney function. So it's a patented probiotic health supplement for people with kidney disease. And earlier I talked about having a probiotic that has specific strains that target uremic toxins. And so Renadyl has three strains of probiotic bacteria that target urea, uric acid, and creatinine. So once in the gut, the Renadyl is able to consume those toxins and then reduce the burden on your kidneys. And it's proven to help maintain healthy kidney function and also support quality of life for those with kidney disease. Another thing that's really important with any supplement, um, but Renadyl is clinically studied. So there are multiple third-party placebo-controlled studies that have indicated Renadyl to be beneficial in addition to a healthy kidney regimen. And the trials found no significant difference in side effects between Renadyl and the placebo when it was studied. So if you're interested, here's how to order. First, number one, check with your healthcare team um, and make sure that it's okay for you. Head to renadil.com. I will put the link in the notes section of this video, but you can use the code RENA10, R-E-N-A-10, and you can get $10 off um, if you're a first-time customer. So quick recap on how a kidney-specific probiotic like Renadil can help with kidney health and function. So the specific probiotic strains in Renadil bind to and break down harmful waste compounds that are present in the gut of people with kidney disease because of that gut dysbiosis. So the breakdown of these waste products are then excreted in the feces instead of going into bloodstream and causing more inflammation and uremia and higher amounts of waste. So basically these probiotics are working to help um, prevent those uremic toxins from going into the blood. They're helping remove waste and helping to alleviate strain on the kidneys. So Head to renadil.com, use the code RENA10 for $10 off your first three month supply. And of course, Renadil is a supplement. So um, it's not evaluated by the FDA. It is clinically studied though. And you can see the research for that and the links for that in the notes section as well. And full disclosure, um, this video is sponsored by Kibo Biotech, which is the producer company that makes Renadil. All opinions are my own. I've had clients using this probiotic supplement for years and years, um, but I do have to disclose that. So please leave your questions that you have in the comment section and I will answer those. Thanks guys.